Gamma 2, a new model from Google that is available in two sizes, 9 billion and 27 billion. It's a new architecture, better than the last version, which is Gamma 1. It's about a 5.5 gigabytes, which make it a small model. Compare it to the Lama 3 8 billion model. As you can see, it's just 1 billion different, but in terms of quality, it's a far better. The intended usage for this model is content creation and communication and some sort of research and education. It starts with text generation, make a script, write a poem, text formatting, text generation, and fixing grammar. So I feel like the Gamma 2 is, is created toward mobiles if you wanted to you know, put it in a small device and run it. That will be a good model. It's actually better than the Lama 3 as a smaller model. For research and education, it's good in natural language processing, which is decent, and language training tools, basically grammar, correction, and providing a better writing practice. Knowledge exploration, which is a bit weird for a small model that it can contain um, a good architecture for generated summaries or answering questions about specific topics which make it a decent model for building retriever augmented app, which what I'm going to do after we take a look at this model a little bit more. If you went to artificialanalysis.ai and go to the Gamma 2 9B model, you can see how good it is in terms of a small model. For the quality, it's just behind the mixer of expert, the 8-2020B, which is a very large model on top of the 8 billion parameter model and it's far better than the GPT 3.5 turbo that's in terms of quality as it say here the higher is better and in terms of speed it's super fast it's just behind the Gemini 1.5 flash so it have the edge in terms of speed because it's a small model but for pricing it's below over here it's like a very cheap model for its size and performance if you scroll a little bit down, we can see here the quality with the output speed and pricing. The bigger the circle, the bigger the price. And here in the Y axis, we have the output speed. The output token per second. So it's very fast. And the quality here in the X axis is basically the general ability in uh, the general ability of this model. So it's like kind of middle in terms of quality, but in the term of speed, it's super fast, just behind Gemini 1.5 flash. You can come here and check it more and see the quality comparison between other model and the ranking of it. If you went to, to the LM SYS chatbot arena and check where it stands, actually it's a very high for a small model. It's above Gemini 1.5 flash, ABI, and just behind that 27th version of it. Some reason, I don't understand why yet, it's on top of the Lama 3 7B instruct, which kind of surprised. You can go here and use it as much as you want, or check it out in the Hugging Face chat, which is for free also. So, I think enough talking about this model, let's build something with it. We are going to build a retriever augmented generation app in two ways, the text documentation and the multiple PDFs files. We're going to use LangChain, we're going to use the Gamma, Gamma 2 9B model and only open source embedding and using Rock for the speed. So I'm going to install whatever library that I need to make this happen. And here you just need to put your Grok API key. You can get it for free with just signing in. After that, I'm gonna get the state of the union text on GitHub by downloading it on the, this notebook. And I'm gonna load it. And after loading, I'm gonna start splitting this text up so I can use embedding on top of it. You can see here it started to split this text line by line and then character is better basically the chunk size of splitting that i want is 1000 and i'm gonna store it inside the docs you can see here all this text 
about this chunk let's get to the embedding i am using the hagen face embedding from like chain so we don't use like abis for this rag it's straight on forward you just need to get the hagen face embedding and sentence transformer for it and it's up and running it's gonna download itself in the google drive itself and after that you can start using it using the files and give it the embedding that you want and the documentation that you want to embed just to make a quick comparison between the similarity search and the rag search we're gonna ask it what did the president say about the supreme court basically it will gonna give us the entire chunk of text that it found about the what the president say about the supreme court without understanding what inside it it's just text search it's not understanding that what inside this text or aware of it let's get to the building the rag part right now we have an embedding text that we can use we can set up our large language model, which in our case, the gamma, the gamma 2 9b8 instruct, which is available on the Grok. We can call it from the Langchain Grok using language library, of course, for that. And we're going to set up a simple load QA chain. We're going to ask the same questions, but the results are completely different. What did the president say about the Supreme Court? As you can see here, it's not just a chunk of text that spit out. It gives you a context and it's aware of what it say. Here, as you can see here, the president said that uh, nominating someone to serve on the United States Supreme Court is one of the most serious constitutional responsibility as a president has. And it go on and give you a basically a summarized text for the chunk of text that we got here which very good for a small model remember this is just 9b model 9 billion parameter model which is just 5 gigabyte what we are doing here is very simple we do a similarity search for this text and we give it the questions and also the result of the search text and the chain will run that we created using the grok lm that we have and it will summarize this text to make it better not just a chunk of text as we see, have here and remember this model is created for purpose usage to its best for summarizing text and knowledge base questions and answers we're gonna give it another test what did the president say about economy as you can see here is the same thing and it do its best to summarize the chunk of code the president spoke about several aspects of economy and it go in details give you um, points for each one which is very good and it's go on basically the entire of text about it so that's it for text text documentation is very straightforward embedding and text that, that, that we give this text search results to the lm and it handle the series now let's do them something a little bit advanced is Creating a rag with a BDFs file, which is slightly a little bit complex, but we are going to use a very simple BDF for that, that have information about the GBT for all model. And I bought it inside my drive. When you're going to run this cell, you will have access to the, your drive. You can bought it inside any folder, but you have to change the folder name. In my case, it's named BDFs. After it mounted, I bought it inside a vector store index and the chunk size also is 1000. Here I'm creating a different chain. It's a retrieve UNE and I give it the Grok LML, give it the chain type, what kind of retriever it will have, the input key, what it is. And as you can see here, it's very straightforward and easy. You can build the ABI around it. So I give it a question how was the GBT for all model was trained. And the GBT for model, the result is a GBT for all model was trained using a massive curated corpus of assistant in interactions. This corpus include word problems, story description, multi turn dialogue, and, and code. The training process involved using data distillation from GBT 3.5 Turbo. So it's a bit much like the vocabulary here is very heavy. It's not simpler to read. So I used another example using invoke this time, which I can give you the different here. As you can see, it's just give you the questions. Tell me all about GBT4. And it gave me a summarized text about the entire model. GBT for all is 
an open source plus blah blah train a massive data set assist interaction here what you know about the base on the provided text remember this is summarization for a pdf and it break it apart which is very decent for a small model the invoke and render is different small about it the invoke will give you the both the results and the questions but run will give you immediately the results here shin.run i ask it what is the structure used to build mr model and it's not providing a pdf so it's a provided text describe the mr 7b model and its capability but doesn't specify the exact structure details how it was built i don't have access to information beyond this text so it have a, tip, a certain limitation it give me that the pdf have a capabilities about the model but because the model is a bit small it doesn't give me the information beyond this text so it's have a certain limitation yeah but yeah this is a very good model for a small model it can summarize text very good the contents of windows of it of it a little bit small but yeah we are aware of that we can handle this if you cut it to chunks and work with it as the text documentation that we did here we give it the similar search that we found in we best this similar search to the LM. But giving it the entire chunk of text and try to summarize it, it's a bit much for it. But yeah, overall, this model is very good. That's it. That's, I hope that you'll learn something from this tutorial. It's all about how we can use this model and how it's good it is for a small model that we can run on a simple device that does not have a giant gpu it's very efficient for summarizing text if you build it correctly as a retriever augmented app anyway thank you for watching this video see you on the next one